we are in Unity, we have two scripts, A and B. In A, we have defined a method that performs some function, and we are interested in coding this function from the B script. Let's see how to solve this in Unity. To begin, we are going to create the scripts A and B, and we are going to assign them to two game objects of the hierarchy. This way, when we press play, these scripts are going to be executed. We open the scripts in Visual Studio. In the A script, we are going to define a method called method A that is going to receive a game object called G as a parameter, and it's going to use that game object to print the message in the console. The message will be the game object name G dot name has called a function of A. In order for this method to be executed from another script, it must be defined with public visibility. To see how this method works, before calling it from another script, let's call it from the same A script in the start method. We write method A and in between parentheses game object. Game object with the first letter in lowercase is the reference of the object this script is assigned to. In my case, the game object that this script is assigned to is called game object A. Now, if we press play, the following message appears on the console. The game object called game object A has called a function from A. Now, let's see how to call this function from the B script. Just as we did in the video on how to read variables that are in other scripts, we need to set a reference to an A type object in B, because A is where the method we want to call is defined. To do this, before the start method, we write a in uppercase and then give it any name. In this case, I'm gonna name it A in lowercase. We have to find the reference of the A type object that is present in the game. In this case, this reference is assigned to the game object A of the hierarchy. We have to find that reference in our code and assign it to this field, A in lowercase. In the variables video, we saw two ways to find this reference and now I'm gonna do it in a different way. I'm gonna create a tag called tag A assign it to the game object A, then in the B script I'm gonna find the game object that has that tag assigned and extract the A type component that I know is assigned to that game object. This can be done in one single instruction writing A in lowercase equals game object with the G in uppercase because we are referring to the game object class dot find game object with tag and between parentheses we put the name of the tag. As this name is a string we put it between quotation marks. Make sure it's this instruction and not the plural version, which only differs from an S. That version finds all the game objects with that tag and returns an array of game objects, and that's not what we need. Until here, we have a game object reference. Now what we can do is to add dot get component and between the less than and greater than signs, put the type of component that we want to extract from that game object. In this case, the type is A. Then we open and close parentheses and end with a semicolon. Once we have the A reference, we will be able to read its public variables and execute its public methods. Note that if I comment this instruction where we find the reference and enter in the play mode, we get a null reference exception error in the console, because A is an empty field and we're trying to execute a method from it. Good. To call the function that is defined in the other script, we use the dot operator. Write a in lowercase dot the name of the function we want to call, in this case method a, and between parentheses we have to send a game object type object. In this case I'm gonna put game object with g in lowercase, which as I mentioned it refers to the game object this b script is assigned to. In my case, in the hierarchy, this game object is called game object b. We enter in the play mode and we see two messages. The first one is the result of the execution of method A from the A script. But we also see a message that says the game object called game object B has called a function from A, which means that we were able to call a function that is defined in a script from another script. Now you should analyze this, understand how it works and apply it to your own scripts.